Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, December 17th. It's the third week in Advent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 60, Revelation chapter 4, verse 9, to chapter 5, verse 5. And please join me in singing the second verse of On Jordan's Bank. Then cleanse be every breast from sin, make straight the way for God within. And let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God Grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O God, you have cast us off. Take us back again. Psalm 60, and please recite it with me. O God, you have cast us off and scattered us and been displeased. Take us back again. You have made the earth tremble and broken it. Repair its breaches, for it shakes. And you have shown your people hardship. You have made us drink wine that dazed us. For you have given a signal to those that fear you to flee from the bow, that your beloved may be delivered. Save us with your right hand and hear us. You have spoken in your holiness and said, I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem and parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, Judah is my scepter, and Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom I cast my shoe and you will triumph over Philistia because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O God, which had cast us off, and you, O God, which did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of mortals. Through you we shall do valiantly, for you shall tread down our enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O God, you have cast us off. Take us back again. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 4, beginning at verse 9. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall before the one who is seated on the throne and worship the one who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, singing, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things and by your will they existed and were created. And then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll, written on the inside and on the back, and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. 
See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered, so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, deliver us from all danger, and lead us to triumph over all that is evil, and keep us always in your tender mercy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.